Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Freelancer. My name is Marlo, and uh, once we do away with the dastardly Gregory Allen here, whose crimes are, you know, too numerous to bother with mentioning, uh, destroyed. Mission Commission signing off. we should have enough money to trigger the next okay. story mission. I have news. Dr. Sinclair has made good progress in analyzing the artifact, but she's now reached a point where she can't continue without the help of Quintain. Our best lead is a pilot Quintain sometimes works with. A guy named Dexter Hovis. He's running a gambling operation on an abandoned battleship in the Dublin system. You should start there. Alright, so we're gonna go to the Dublin system, and I will tell you right now that I hate this mission. It's my least favorite mission in the entire game. If you, uh, if there's a, was ever a good chance of watching me load a save, it will be... Uh, this mission. We're going to do a spaceship race, uh, which is kind of a pain in the butt in a game where all ships travel at the exact same speed. Yeah, so I, I kind of feel like this mission was poorly designed, but uh, we're just going to have to uh, just going to have to go with it. We don't really have a choice. Uh, I think we have to travel a fair distance. Yeah, we do. Okay. So, where are we now? Right now, we're still in the lead system. Uh, our current net worth is $97,912 with finishing that mission. Uh, we have 51,813 credits on hand. I'm still flying the same ship with the same guns uh, and all that. We picked up a little uh, loot in our last uh, little skirmish there. So we're going to make our way as quickly as we can to the Dublin system. And to go do this race. Uh, gosh, I remember back in the day, uh, the forums, the official forums for this game were, uh, you know, a lot of the, you would see a lot of threads, you know, people having trouble. It was this mission. You know, how to win the race, how to win the race, how to win the race. To be honest with you, I'm not entirely sure I remember how to win the race. We're going to find out. Uh, you may get to see me do this a couple of times. If that's the case, I uh, may cut part of, part of this out of the video. Uh, we'll just have to see. Right now, we're just going to do it live and see what happens. That ought to be entertaining for everyone. You might get to see me fail. Doc. Um, but yeah, so I should take this time to explain some of uh, what I do uh, with the uh, some of the controls and how I uh, use them uh, when, especially when I'm doing like random missions. A lot of times you're flying like this. You're in cruise speed. You're going towards a waypoint in a mission, and uh, you know some enemy ships are going to appear at the waypoint. You're told uh, once you launch. And so, when those enemy ships appear, you've got to do a few things fairly quickly. One is, you need to re-engage free flight mode. That's this button up here, with the uh, eight directions underneath the ship. Remember, that's uh, go to, your autopilot, and that's dock. So you need to hit that button to uh, get back control of your ship. You also need to hit the space bar to unlock uh, your ship so that it will follow the mouse pointer as you move it around the screen. Uh, right now, if I move the mouse pointer around the screen, my ship continues its direction. If I hit the space bar and enable mouse flight, I'm now following the uh, cursor there. So, And that's what you want to do in uh, combat. That's how you want to be flying. Now, the other thing I do is I have my finger close to the R key which is the default hotkey for target nearest enemy, I believe. Uh, and that will just get me onto the nearest enemy ship so that uh, once combat starts, I'm targeting somebody. Uh, then, of course, remember, tab is your thruster key, which you're going to be using a lot during combat. I don't use W, A, S, and D. Those are thrust uh, keys uh, by default in this game. Uh, w forward, S backwards, A and D uh, left and right. I don't use those very much in this in this game. I don't find them to be terribly useful. If you're at a stop, like when you come out of a jump gate, you can actually just scroll your mouse wheel forward, and it will engage your regular engines uh, in normal flight mode. 
Now, a lot of times, if I'm in a big uh, firefight or I'm attacking capital ships or um, static defenses like weapons platforms or uh, space stations, you'll see me go into, or if I'm just horribly outnumbered, you'll see me go into Newtonian flight mode. We've done that a few times already as this uh, Let's Play has progressed. How do I do that? Well, the default hotkey is the Z button, is your engine kill button, and then you will continue to, uh, your momentum will continue to carry you in the direction uh, that you were last uh, thrusting. Uh, which, of, and of course, you can, you know, turn your ship to face any any direction you want. If you want to change direction in a hurry, and oh my, there's a lot of enemies here. We got to get out of here. If you want to change direction in a hurry, uh, you just use the thruster key. Now, see, I'm in Newtonian flight mode right now because you can actually go faster than you can in normal flight mode, and I want to get away from all those red ships that are trying to kill me. And we did that successfully. It's a great way, to, if you want to run away, I would suggest that you use your thruster and not your cruise engines. The enemy NPCs often have cruise disruptor torpedoes which will knock you out of cruise drive. Now that's the, you know, that's kind of our warp drive, so to speak, where the weapons don't work and the ship's going at about 300, um, you know, whatever this unit of measurement is down here uh, that we don't really know. Um, but yeah, if you want to if you want to get away from enemies quickly, it's best to engine kill and hit the thrust button. Now remember, the thruster doesn't last forever; it will decrease in power and eventually it will stop on you. Uh, but uh, if you oh yeah, we're still in Newtonian mode, so we'll get out of that. But if you uh, if you're in engine kill mode, if you've hit the Z key, you just have to tap it every once in a while to keep your speed up at uh, 199, which is thrust uh, level. Now, of course, uh, in real life, you would continue to, to, you know, move at the same speed for a lot longer in this game. Apparently, there's a lot of space dust in this game or something that causes friction that slows you down. I'm not exactly sure. The physics, you know, aren't that realistic. There's definitely kind of an arcade-ish element to this uh, space sim. Uh, realism of flight was not really the goal uh, flight mechanics was not really the goal of this game. So, um, we're just going to ignore the enemies here. If we can. And uh, we're going to dock here as soon as we can. It really speeds things up if you fly right up to the edge of the jump gate. You'll notice that we're being fired on, but once the little cutscene animation begins, they can no longer damage your shield or your ship, so you don't have to worry about that. So you just get the cutscene to trigger and you're fine. Same thing with docking at a planet or a space station. It's the same deal. Once the cutscene starts, you're essentially invincible. Alright, we're not invincible right now, though. Let's boogie out of here. Alright, we're going to drop off a... a uh, countermeasure there to fool the bad guys and uh, they won't keep up with this the AI just isn't going to uh, just isn't going to to use the thruster and engine kill the way that you can as a player You're, they're just not going to do it um, it's just not designed to you know that way um, which you know gives you certain advantages so Alright, we've made it to the Dublin system. This is still part of the Bretonian house space. It's a little bit of an untamed area. There are actually no trade lanes in this system. This may be the first system we've actually been in that didn't have any trade lanes. But this becomes more and more common as you get out into the frontier or into, into some of the outlaw areas, which we will be in from time to time in this game, since after all, we're running from the bounty hunters and all of the liberty uh, forces. Now, currently, my reputation is such that the British, uh, excuse me, Bretonian forces uh, are beginning to like me. Uh, but again, the uh, game is going to take over our reputation from time to time. So, I, you know, not too worried about that right now. All right, so we're headed to uh, this uh, battleship, which has been converted into a space station by a group called the Independent Miners Guild, which is, well, exactly what it sounds like. A group of independent miners. Uh, I don't mean miners as in under the age of 18. I mean miners as in people who extract valuable ore from rocks. In this case, asteroids. 
Uh, and we're going to dock on this station and go talk to this uh, gentleman here. Dock. Acknowledged. Your request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock one. And once we get on board, uh, there may be a cutscene that plays immediately. If not, I'm going to give the game a quick save just so we don't have to do all this traveling again. Because the last time I saved the game was before I hit the record button. <laughs> I have just realized. Okay. So we need to talk to the bartender, but before we do that, let's save the game. We'll make this LP10. All right. Now let's go to the bar and talk to the bartender about this gentleman that we need to go see. I'm looking for a guy named Dexter Hovis. Have you seen him? Well, Good talk, Mr. Bartender. Good yeah. talk. You Dexter Hovis? I'm Hovis. I'm a friend of Quintain's. I understand you do some work for him every now and then. I've got you know, move. I'd love to spend all day John with you, Bretonian, but I really only talk to racers. Unless, of course, you are a racer and you're looking for a challenge. Say, me, perhaps. In that case, I'll talk to you all day. Providing, of course, you live. You see, I have a hard time finding people live? who race against me. What do you say, Tenderfoot? All right. So we need to uh, beat this guy in a race uh, because the developers of this game hate us is pretty much the reason. There's uh, This mission makes absolutely no sense in my mind, but uh, we're going to have to accept this mission if we want to continue with the story. You're on. Good, I'll meet you outside. It's like a very stilted version of the Fast and the Furious. Oh, there's a ship for sale here. What can we buy? Oh, yeah, no fun. That's the Bretonian Light Fighter, which I don't really like. So, let's go do this race. Let's see if I can remember how this is done. We have a challenger. His name is Trent. Against our very own Dexter! God, I hate this mission. Three, two, one. All right. This is a, a one lap race around the oval shaped course. The course is 22 gates long. The final gate is the same as the first gate. You must fly through the gates in the proper direction. Using your cruise engines is strongly recommended. That's true. Oh! All right, the trick is, is to get out ahead of him at first, and which we did not do. So, we can catch up with him, but we just have to uh, kind of take good lines, just like in a, a real race. We just want to take good lines, which we're not really doing. Hovis is your leader after the first quarter of the course. Um, we may have lost this already. May not be anything that we can do. So we'll see. We may get to do this again. I forget what happens if you lose, honestly. Uh, we may get to find out. Messed it up. Damn, give him something to think about, boys. 
Oh, he's cheating. That's expected. Okay. I'm actually surprised we won. You know, that happens. Uh, what happened is, is he actually ran into one of the rings that we were trying to fly through. Uh, the AI will kind of bail you out sometimes, uh, which is nice. I don't know who's shooting at us. Probably still the race course. Okay, boy. You first. So we're going to land on the hood, and Roger he'll tell that. us what we want to know. request to dock is granted. Please proceed to dock one. I forget exactly what happens if you lose, honestly. Um, as much as I hate this mission, it's actually been a while since I lost the race. I think, I think there's another way you can get him to tell you. I think you have to do like an extra mission or something. Uh, I really don't know. Fine remember. race, Petonian. I haven't felt a challenge in years. Now tell me about Quintain. Is he here? Here? No. He contacted me to take him even further into the asteroid field to an abandoned mining station called the Glorious. He's holed up with the pirates that took it over. He said he needed to disappear for a while. Uh, naturally, you didn't hear any of this from me. Naturally. Now, how do I get there? Take the old trade lane into the asteroid field. But be careful. The lane isn't stable. Sometimes the asteroids can get through. And watch out for a group of Rhinelanders that was headed that way. They didn't look too friendly. Did they race? Ha, ah, no. They're too yellow. Hey, Bretonian, if it don't work out, you know, you can always come back and race with us. Well, it's nice to know we have an alter alternate career path. All right. We're going to launch to space. Uh, we're going to find Quintain and take him to Planet Leeds uh, to help Sinclair and Junie with the artifact. Uh, okay, we are escorting him. I do actually think this is a rare instance where Freelancer our friend one that one. we're going this to have you are for uh, can actually be down. killed. I think this, this may be the one time uh, where that is the case. So, we'll have to be careful. We can actually already see the station, but if you don't fly to the waypoint, unfortunately, the game really kind of freaks out. Um, I think it's just kind of a artifact of the time in which the game was programmed um, but that's okay it's, it's easy enough unfortunately it's Negative. not far Leave the area at once. this is your last warning surrender Quintain or you will be destroyed all turrets open fire Jarvis, Vashko, take out the gunship Sanchez, Barrera, engage the fighters that looks like we have company you wish. not Destroy surprisingly Make sure there aren't any survivors. This bandit's trying to get me in lock. I've got company. Alright, we're gonna go into Newtonian flight mode because we are getting our uh, shield peeled off of us way too fast. And hopefully we can. Uh, Get a little space from them. One of their fighters is down. All right, that's good. What's not good is the fact that we are just getting annihilated here. We have a man down. All right, we're gonna take out the gunboat. It's actually not that dangerous to us. But it is dangerous to the AI uh, NPCs that are on our side. So. Alright. Fortunately, the AI. Your AI uh, compadres in this game are actually not useless. They will kill bad guys, uh, which is nice. You know, there's always there are always those games where you have AI helpers that basically do nothing and you have to do all the work. Um. You know, this isn't really one of those. Now they're not—they're probably not going to take out a gunship by themselves, but 
but they can keep a lot of the fighters off of you so that you can do it a lot of the time. Um, so, it's nice. Alright, Rhinelander, hold still so I can shoot you. I'm doing a horrible job aiming at this guy. And actually... I actually think it's harder to chase down enemy ships when you have AI helping you. Uh, Alright, now we're going to land. Yeah, when the AI is helping you, a lot of times it seems to me that it is actually more difficult to target uh, the enemy ship effectively. Uh, I, th I guess it just affects the AI's um, evasion patterns uh, when there's more than one ship you know, pursuing them at a time. It, it, you're almost better off in some ways with a little less help uh, because you, it's, it's easier to kill the enemy ships. You can be a little bit more efficient. And another cutscene. Whoa, easy with that. You fought well out there. Come on. Someone wants to have a look at you. Hmm. Nice welcome we're getting after we risked our lives. Dr. Quintain. And who are you? The name's Trent. Dr. Sinclair sent me to find I find you. that hard to believe, since she has no idea where I am. Now, who sent you? I already told you. Enough! You do understand that with the appearance of our Rhineland friends, I'm hesitant to take too many chances. But I fought them too. Yes, and I wanted to thank you for your help. Push him out of the airlock. Wait, wait! I have the Dom Kavash artifact. What did you say? I have your artifact. The one Sinclair lost on Pygar. I found it. That's why I came. I don't suspect you have it with you. No, that would be too easy. So where is it, then? Sinclair's working on it back on Leeds in hiding. But she can't decipher it on her own. She needs your help. Very well, Mr. Trent. I will go back with you, but on one condition. What's that? That we not go alone. All right. What a nice man. Okay, let's hit the uh, equipment dealer. And uh, we need to recharge our uh, supply of... Oh, okay. We need to recharge our supply of shield batteries. I did use a couple in that battle. Uh, boy, those Rylander weapons are tough. Yeah, okay. Fortunately, we didn't actually take any damage, which I kind of thought we Loaded had. Cargo I've got some stuff in my cargo bay, but I, there's no uh, commodity dealer here to sell it to. What do I have? Let's look and see. Oh, some H fuel. That's actually going to sell for a halfway decent amount of money. All right, let's launch to uh, space to meet up with Sinclair. And we're going to head to Planet Leeds. So this jump hole really doesn't work any time except this mission. Uh oh. I'm hit. My cruise engines are down. Perez and Wallace protect Quintain. Mr. Trent, let's take down the gunship. Oh, there's a gunship. Okay. Let's go after that. Okay, we're gonna get our butts chewed off. Is what. It Appears to me. Okay, forget the gunship. That sounds following order sounds like a recipe to get killed. We got one of their fighters. All right.
So, yeah, we need to protect Quintain, but he seems to be in no actual danger. Which is, uh, very helpful. Okay, where is the... That's annoying. Yeah, generally speaking... My crew's engines are back online. We have to get out of here. Generally speaking, you want to take out fighters first in almost any encounter. Uh, they're going to be just about the, is down. Just that was the, close. the nature Let's of how of the Mr. Trent, take the lead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just the nature of how the game works, uh, how the combat works in this game, in the default Doc, game. Doc, denied. The uh, destination is too far. The enemy Let's fighters see. are going to be more dangerous to you than any. Uh, any of the capital ships that you encounter in this game. Now, in a lot of the mods, just the opposite. A lot of the capital ships in the mods, uh, like Discovery or Crossfire, absolutely deadly and will rip your face off. No question about it. But in the vanilla game, the fighters are really more dangerous than anything else. As you can see, I, I attempted to follow the request of the AI uh, NPCs here, our buddies, and... Uh, the jump home Damn! Enemy ships jumping in! They've seen us! Well, this is getting repetitive. Yes, yes, yes. Incoming missile. So. I can't hope that's one down. Don't let them near Quintain. Yeah. Um. Again, Quintain is in. Very little actual. Oh, come on. Very little actual danger. Um, sometimes the uh, enemy AI does this annoying thing where there's, you know, you've got 10 ships on your side and they only aim at you, which is really kind of annoying. Um, yes, yes, yes. Our shield has failed. Boy, I'll be glad when I can get rid of this ship. It's uh, not a good ship. Great. Well, Let's it's get out of here. it's okay, uh, but it just turns so slowly um, that it's yeah. Go to dock. It's hard to evade the enemy's fire in the ship, but it's probably the best ship that's available at this point in the game. Uh, so. We're just gonna have to live with it for now. And we'll follow you through. What I don't like about unmaneuverable ships in the story mode is that it kind of takes you, makes you kind of go backwards on your net worth progress for the next story mission because you end up having to buy more shield batteries, repair your ship more often as it takes a pounding because it can't dodge anything, and that's just more money that you have to make uh, when you we'll get. We'll be at Planet Leeds before you know it, Professor. We should be safe now. Let's get back on solid ground. Mr. Trent, you have the coordinates to lead. Take point. Alright. Uh, yeah. It's more expensive, essentially, in the story modes. In the story modes. I actually haven't seen Dr. Sinclair in years. She sent me a message a while back that she had made a discovery on Pygon. Finally, a Dom Kavosh artifact that's still active. A MacGuffin. Yeah, it, it just costs you money because you end up repairing more, you end up buying more shield bat uh, batteries and nanobots than if you have a more maneuverable ship. I can't wait to see it. The trade-off is this heavier ship can carry more weapons and therefore do the missions faster, so it's not quite as uh, a, not quite as tedious a process to get to the next story mission. So it, it's kind of a trade-off there. Uh, it gets better later in the game because there are other heavier fighters um, after. Th you know, that are more powerful than this one that I believe are more uh, turn around. See you later. More agile. I'll meet you down on the planet, Mr. Trent. You go first. Uh, and therefore can dodge better, but still pack a pretty good punch. Uh, it's just, you know, Roger it's kind of a weak back. spot in the ship uh, lineup, in my opinion. But, uh, you know, might have been better off with the light fighter, but, you know, I get to have uh, two more guns. Uh, than I would get to have in the light fighter uh, that's available in this area. 
And uh, so, you know, you'll have some of that. All right, I think we're loading up a cut, uh, cut scene here. Excuse me. Wonderful doing business with you. Good night. Tobias. Yeah. Who's this then? This is Dr. Quintain. He's a professor. Him? No. Oh, what field? I'll have you know, sir, I am the foremost authority on xenoarchaeology. Oh, I'm sure you are. <laughs> come on, Mr. Wizard. I expect you've come to see the missus. Oh, you gotta love Tobias. Quintain! Damn it, I am mad as hell at you. What happened? Where have you been? I had to go away, Kendra. Not long after you made your discovery, things began to happen. People around me started to go missing. Then I came back one night to find my lab turned upside down and noticed I was being followed. By whom? A man named Cress. He told me I was on a list, but my work had put me in great jeopardy. I left that night and didn't look back. So, you see, I couldn't tell anyone. Especially you. I thought you'd become a target as well. She already is. We all are. Because of this. This is it? May I? It's magnificent. Yes, it is. But it's obviously part of something more significant. It's time you and I figured out what that is. Look, I hate to rush this reunion along. Someone's here. I'll take care of it. Hello, my friends. What is it I can get for you today? We are looking for a man. We have reason to believe he's in the area. Nice looking chap. Sorry, I haven't seen him. He is considered an enemy of Rhineland. Anyone caught hiding him would face severe consequences. Listen to me. You are not in Rhineland now. You're in my shop. I've already told you the man you're looking for isn't here, so unless you'd like an education in foreign policy that you won't soon forget, I suggest you move along. Now! We can be patient, Mr. Tobias. Rest assured we won't be far. I'm sure you won't be. It's just a matter of time before they'll be back. She's right. Now that they've got your scent, it's not safe here anymore. Cress. The night he came, he offered me a place to hide in the border worlds. Maybe now is a good time to take him up on it. But do you trust him? I'd rather take my chances with him than those Rhineland agents. We need you now, Trent. Ready? All right. We have to hide from the Rhineland agents. We must fly with Junie, Sinclair, and Quintain to the border worlds and find the base of the mysterious Cress. The Rhineland agents will be trying to stop us from reaching the border worlds. They will likely hunt you the entire way. It's very advisable to fly a powerful combat vessel. This is not about money. It's about survival. All right, let's go. Now I want you to get clear of this place for a while. I'm not going to be... Just until this blows over. I'll be back when I can. Take care of yourself, old man. All right. We've got to do a little maintenance. On our ship, we have some damage that we'll have to repair. Uh, ooh, two Starkiller torpedoes. Can we buy a Starkiller torpedo launcher here? Ooh, we can. Man, this is, um... This is tempting. It's tempting. It's, uh, really good against, uh, capital ships, which we are going to be facing more and more often. But I, you know, I think for now we'll pass. We'll have other opportunities later on, uh, to buy them. Uh, we, we, it's not an absolute requirement just yet. Let's see how badly our ship was damaged. Oh, gosh. Worse than I was hoping. Repair Almost a thousand. Complete. Uh, we do need to refill our, uh, shield batteries and nanobots. This was an expensive mission. Loaded into cargo hold. Uh, fortunately we've got a little Loaded money into cargo hold. to our name. Uh, we're gonna make a little bit of it back here. Alright, so the food rations won't sell for much. Scrap metal won't sell for much, but the uh, H fuel 
uh, will sell for a total of 7,200 credits, which will uh, make up for the money that we had to spend to repair the ship and uh, recharge it. So, we're going to do that. Awesome. That's great. It's a good thing we had that in our cargo hold. Okay. So, our current uh, worth, I clicked off that a little quickly, is now 108,287 credits. Uh, we've got another story mission left to go here. We could purchase a different ship. And honestly, I am somewhat tempted to do it. But, either way, that will have to wait until next time. Uh, until uh, the next episode, I hope you're doing well. I hope you continue to do well, and uh, I'll catch you in the next one. It'll be fun.